Hello my friends. Hello everyone. It is I, Christine, again. And welcome to another video with my face in it. This time I admit I didn't put that much effort into my face. They're too big for me. Do these come in different sizes? Sorry to disappoint you. I did put on some highlighter though. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Probably not because I'm so pale. Today I'm going to do something that I thought I would never do. DIY nail polish. DIY. Do it yourself. Do it yourself. Yes, that's three words. Nail polish. I can't wait. The f Christine. DIYs are all the rage on YouTube. Didn't you know this? This is going to be great. Please subscribe. I know, right? First I do a makeup tutorial and now I do a DIY video. I must be having a YouTube identity crisis. Help me. So I've seen a few, just a few DIYs on YouTube myself. And um, yeah, I think that DIYs have gone from actually helpful home and garden home projects and such to what the actual f to prepare for this video, I'm watching a DIY right now. Hi, this squishy thing is so useful. Be right back, I'm going to make this myself right away. Here's some other potential useful DIY videos. Looks like Hello Maffy dyed her nails with Kool-Aid. Oh yeah. Karina Garcia put lipstick on her nails. Now I know what to do with all that makeup I just bought. Glitter Forever made KFC's edible nail polish. Hey, I emailed KFC for their nail polish and they never answered me. Maybe Breland can send me hers. And Natalie's Outlet did some dumb as fuck nail hacks. It's nice to see someone is taking this as seriously as I am. Found myself a troll buddy. Actually, all of those are related to nails. Maybe they might be useful. I don't know. I haven't seen them yet. Why don't you guys watch them? Let me know below in the comments. I've always wondered though, when Glitter Forever 17 named herself, did she mean hollow glitter or just glitter glitter? Life questions I need answered before I die. Okay, now it's time to begin. Which one of you wants to be my volunteer? <laughs> You wanna play? You wanna play some games? Yeah, we could be like the movie Saw. I'll put this in your stomach. That's really fucked up, Christine. First, I should put my hair up because shit's gonna get messy. Ooh, maybe next I'll do a hair tutorial. Yeah! So many good ideas lately. To make your own nail polish, you will need nail polish. The irony, I know. Bunch of eyeshadow you don't care about anymore, or buy some new ones that you don't mind smashing into tiny little pieces. A hammer to do said smashing. A tool thing to excavate the eyeshadow pigments. A cup for water marbling. No! Some loose hollow glitter! So you can actually sit through this video because there will be sparkles. Let's do this, bitch! Christine does it herself, part one. Okay, we're gonna need two cameras up in here so y'all can see exactly what I'm doing. So I have these really old eyeshadow palettes. That's not a palette. Eyeshadow, single eyeshadow things. I have green, pink, yellow, brown, and purple. I used to have a blue, but then I smashed it for my makeup porno. <laughs> I legit bought these 15 years ago. They say holographic on them. I must have been holosexual my entire life. First, you're gonna pick a color. Pick a color, any color. Let's pick this one, because it's called Palace Sunset. Romantic, motherfucker. You're gonna take your clear nail polish that you had to have bought at the store. Bye, bye. <laughs> clear the way, because now it's time to break things. Take out your anger on the YouTuber you hate the most. Just whatever you do, don't hold the container with your hand in your nails because then you might smash your nails. Then I would have to have a funeral, so no. Yes, die! Ooh. And you're gonna take a piece of paper. Got to include that in the things you will need list. And you're gonna roll yourself a little doobie and you're gonna stick it into the bottle. Get in there. And start pouring this shit in. Oh, this is so messy. Christine, stop concentrating so hard. People will think you're being serious. God damn it. None of it went in. Okay, well, f*** that thing. I'm just gonna pile it in myself. Eyeshadow is everywhere except on my eyes. And you're gonna close your bottle. Now it's time to shake that shit up. And look at that. It's like a highlighter for your nails. Let's test it, shall we? Ready, ready? Oops, that was too much. Uh, I can't really see it. Did I mention that these were edible? Purple! This is not a very efficient method. Look, I'm gonna make my own nail polish. What? Because I don't have enough, so I thought I should make my own. It's a good idea. I know, right? It's kind of got a duo chromey ish look, but definitely not hollow. L'Oreal, you don't know what hollow means, obviously. Yeah, so this application is great 
on the first coat. What a beautiful purple that is. So I got some of this loose hollow glitter that I think it's from Halloween 2002. And we're just going to tap it in. Just tap it in. The hollows really stand out in it and I think it has a great smooth finish on the nail. Stop looking at my thumb, okay? Stop looking at my thumb. I didn't make that nail polish. I made this nail polish. This black hollow polish is called Black Hollow Witch because I named it, obviously. And I had someone who actually makes nail polish for a living make them, but I'm pretty sure I can make one just as good. Let's try. I love a challenge. Oh, we mustn't spill you, sacred black hollow. Which's gonna come after me. Um, uh, how did it get so liquidy? Where did I go wrong? Oh, I know. Let's mix colors. Green. And this yellowy gold color. Add some hollow to it. Hollow pieces flying everywhere. Not that I have a problem with that. Um, yeah, so just keep in mind that the polish I was going for was a really green, shrecky color. Maybe if I made this bottle into a big jelly size thing that I could cut up, I would be the next big DIYer. Hmm? Wow, that looks so great. I am legit obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with this look, aren't you guys? You guys must be so obsessed too. Almost forgot to do my thumb. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you are gonna do it yourself. All right, since I just made myself four amazing nail polishes, why don't we compare them to real nail polish and see just how good a job I did? Yes. So there's a lot of hollow in the one that I bought from the store, but you can still see the hollows in mine if you look really closely, okay? They're in there, I swear. How'd I do for making a green hollow, huh? huh? Not bad, right? Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Real nail polish may look way more hollow, but it's just the shape of the bottle, okay? If mine was in a square bottle, it would look just as good. Oh. Oh, what happened there? Oh, it all sank to the bottom. No! <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. And there you have it. DIY nail polish. No. Never do this. First of all, it looks like shit. Second of all, you literally would have just bought nail polish to make nail polish that looks worse than actual nail polish that you could buy for less money than what you spent on the amount of products to make the nail polish that you just made in your DIY. That was a really long and confusing sentence, Christine. Even adding hollow to it didn't make it good, which is sad because hollow usually makes everything better. There are some things you just shouldn't make yourself. This is one of them. So after this experiment, I've decided that I'm not gonna become a DIY channel. Nope, not gonna. Most DIYs are fucking dumb. And no, I'm also not becoming a makeup channel. Guys, you are so gullible. Who knows, maybe I will make another random weird ass unsolicited video. If you like that, feel free to be my friend and subscribe. I'm done with you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all later, bye.